This is uh, Key Rose with LaSambe.com, uh, coming to you from the Loreno Center for the Arts with uh, professor, author, blogger, uh, Bill Nervisio. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. I mean, thanks for coming here to the show. It's uh, it's quite a scene. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, you have your book, uh, I got the title right, Seductive Hallucinations of the Mexican in America in bookstores now. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the images and uh, you brought them here with you? The, uh, yeah, um, the whole idea was that only a certain number of people read books, but other people like to go out and see things. And so this uh, art professor and curator in uh, McAllen by the name of Rachel Brown at South Texas College, she called me up and she said, hey, can we make Tex-Mex into a gallery? show and I said wow what an idea and so Tex Mex the book became Mex to see the art exhibit and so that's where we're at right now. And now I see some of the familiar images that uh, kind of were stereotypical you know, as I described, uh, Speedy Gonzalez being one of them. I was trying to come up with uh, something that's a little bit more current in television or movies or something like that. Uh, my friend uh, mentioned Machete, and the, the, the one that I thought about was uh, this character in the Modern Family TV series, uh, Sophia Sophia Ben. Yeah, yeah, very, very flamboyant, very. She's a bombshell. She's the classic Latina bombshell, but for the 21st century. What happens is that stereotypes are popular, and they're because they're popular, they're successful. People want to see what they've seen before. So Sofia Vergara, in addition to being hot and beautiful, she's also hilarious. She's got amazing comic timing. So she's like the 21st version, 21st century version of Lupe Vélez, the Mexican Spitfire, who was a huge star in Hollywood. 30s and 40s, uh, thir especially in the early 30s. And now, uh, these stereotypes, you know, talking about uh, Chicanos and all this stuff, here in Laredo, you know, it was brought to my attention that the WBCA in George Washington has more of a football than the Chicano movement. How does this fit into the local culture? Laredo is a class culture. We are we are bourgeois. Laredo is a trade town. It's about merchants and selling and commerce between Mexico and the United States. So it makes sense that back in the day these Laredenses would have come up with this idea to sell Laredo that would appeal to all. Not just the Mexicanos, but you know all of the Anglos and, and the Jewish community that worked and lived in Laredo, they were businessmen. So it was all about negocio, all about negocio. So like Chicano power, forget it. Chicano and Laredo means the thief. You know, it's like a pachuco. It's not a good thing. Forget about the, the raza movement, the raza unida. In Laredo, you got to be careful what you say, Chicano. So I'm kind of excited to bring this kind of California-infected Chicano attitude back to Laredo. Porque yo soy de aquí, but I'm also, I mean, face it, I'm also part California. Now, where is Mextasy going from here? Mextasy is going to leave Laredo and it's going to go, I believe it's a negotiation, so don't spread this virally, please, on the internet. Um, Centro Cultural de la Raza in San Diego, and then uh, it's going to go to uh, the University of Michigan, Ann Arbor, the Latino American Studies program, and then it, uh, it might be going to Hawaii in April. Wow, pretty good. Excellent. Well, we wish you continued success, and thank you so much for being with us. Thank you very much, and... Uh, awesome. And for LaSampe.com, I'm Kiros, and we're out.